Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Last time I was deciding whether I wanted to fight Gastronok here, and I think the answer is no. His airstrike can do up to 50 damage and it never misses. And that's pretty bad because our evasion is our main defense. Now if I wanted to kill this guy, um, what I could do is try to identify a scroll of silence and silence him and just hit him with a sling, maybe a wand of acid to start off. But I'm going to just ignore him for now. The problem here is that he might be guarding the lair entrance. The fact that he showed up here means there's, I think, a pretty good chance the lair entrance is around here. Hmm. We could try to peek in here. Hopefully we don't run into anything else. Yeah, I'm not seeing the lair entrance, but it could be down here maybe? Hmm. Or, I don't know. This is unseen floor. It's hard to tell um, what's grayed out because you can't see it and what's black because you've never seen it. But I guess the lair entrance could be down here. We'll see. It might be somewhere else on the floor. We also have some killer bees. This is a hive. We've seen one bee. And I just want to avoid these two. But if they noticed me, I thought I'd uh, mention my plan. First off, I'd try to use the Wand of Enslavement. If that failed, I'd either use a Potion of Resistance or a Potion of Lignification. Both of these give you Poison Resistance. Alright. Well, let's just keep going. We can check out this lower area here, I guess. Here's a <laughs> ring mail. I'm a little bit worried about auto-exploring, to be honest. And, hmm, yeah, we could have some bees over here. I kind of want this scroll, but I don't know if I want to fight a bunch of bees. I could uh, try and fight this one and pull back into this corridor. That could work. Or if I shouted from here. But I think I'm going to try to wait until I have poison resistance before I fight any bees. Let's head up this stair. All right. And let's head to a safe floor and try to identify some scrolls. Okay. That's enchant weapon. Now we have a plus two sling, that's good. Immolation. Not really relevant when you have no fire resistance. All right. Let's head back down. Yeah, just head back down, and I'll explore the rest of this floor away from Gastronok. Once we head over here, we can auto-explore, I guess. Uh, these two things should be fine. Alright. It's a good thing we got that stealth. I might get more. I'm also getting one level of evocations. Wand of Acid's pretty good. One level of anything is quite cheap. But our experience is very valuable right now. Dodging, when you have high... Um, and you have high dex is very important, especially with good aptitude. Invocations is also very important. I'll probably want to bring that up to more than six, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. All right. Is it safe to auto explore? I, I hope so. This wizard, 38% confuse, and we only have three curing potions, so that's a bit concerning, but they don't have much health at least. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, there we go. We level up. More HP. That's very good. Um, I'd like to also note, we have no spells in our library. We found zero spell books. Is that usual at this point? I don't know. It is only D8. I guess we haven't been playing for that long, but it feels like we should have found at least one random spell book by now. Here's an axe. I mean, we could eventually train axes, I suppose, just because um, with Che, we're fairly likely to end up surrounded at some point. But if possible, I'd actually rather get zombie hands. That would also help. Okay. Looks like we've about cleared this floor. Hmm, there's a spell book. Alright. And here's an ogre. I think we can um, safely fight this guy. 
I might want to shout from like way over here. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Here's the ogre. And a killer bee. Okay, okay, that's that's bad. Uh, we don't like that. Do I want to try and head into a corridor? I'm going to say no. Okay, we have multiple killer bees. That's quite bad. Time to um, enact our plan. Wand of Enslavement, we get him. Okay. And our friendly killer bee should kill the other killer bees fairly effectively. That's one down. Can we hit this guy? Yes. Let's back off here. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Now you... Uh, I don't know. What's the correct order? Guard? Guard this area? Okay. We have more stuff coming. Let's keep backing off. Your killer bee looks stronger. Um, it might be time to start attacking it. We, uh, we have more stuff coming. We will have to fight it eventually. Unless we can get away from it. But I think we have to just fight it. So all right, let's let's do it. Come on. There we go. So that was a few killer bees down. The want of enslavement was uh, obviously very important there. So I'm happy to be getting a little bit of uh, evocations. If we can get invocations up though, we can just use slouch. Could use slouch already, but oh well. It gets more reliable. Getting another two levels. Uh, that might be enough. Probably want like seven. Dodging is a is a high priority though. Let's actually raise the cap on that to like fourteen. We're going to want quite a bit of dodging. So uh, we're already up to twenty one evasion from twenty when we started. Just from killing a couple of killer bees. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I should not have come back here actually. Okay, here's the killer bee. The good news is they're missing us and we have high accuracy because we have pretty decent sling skill. Okay, let's stay away from that whole area and just head down here. Um, I might clear all the way down to D10, except for, of course, dangerous things, but we'll see. D9 or D10 and then I'd like to be in the lair at that point. Okay, here's an ice beast, should have been shooting that. Killer bee zombie is not so bad. Well, it's still hurting. Okay. But the main problem with the killer bees is, of course, the poison. Okay. Hmm. An abandoned shop. We have uh, no real shops yet. But maybe that means there's a real shop on this level. Another wand of polymorph. I'm not really that interested. Our monkey. Let's back off a bit. It could have made a bunch of noise. Okay. Auto explore seems to be kind of inefficient sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, let's just head down here. Head to D10 and after this I really want to be in the lair, so I might go back to the... Yeah, here's an ugly thing. Those are kind of concerning. 22 damage. 22 evasion, though, is reasonably solid. No, it's hurting us. It's hurting us. What are we going to do if this goes badly? Wand of Acid, I guess. Uh, might want to use that now. Do I? It's pretty valuable. Uh, hmm. We also have this ring to try. Alright, let's acid. And let's get our sling bullets out. I might need to... Hmm, we don't have heal wounds, actually. Lignification. We don't have blink, either. I'm going to acid again. Alright. That was pretty bad. Uh, I kind of want to be out of here. I kind of want to not be here anymore. There's another kobold. I'm trying to make my way back to the stairs to rest. Okay, um, yeah, I guess I don't want to be here. I do want to grab my ammo if possible. Just wait a bit. All right.
Let's, uh, let's not fight any more ugly things for now. And I probably just want to be off of D10. So D9, hmm, nothing really here. I guess we're heading back to D8 and hoping to find a lair entrance. Maybe it's by those earlier killer bees then. I hope not. That would be, that would be awful. So where could the lair entrance be? Do I want to try and uh, hope that one of these is a, a uh, magic mapping scroll? What don't we know in terms of scrolls? Hmm, it could be noise. That would be pretty bad. There's another killer bee. All right, let's fight a killer bee. Just one is fine. Okay. And Gastronok is awake. Hmm. That's pretty concerning. If we could identify a scroll of silence, but we only have one identify and we don't have any more duplicate scrolls. So that's pretty concerning. Um, just one sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But anyway, Gastronok is awake, and that means uh, we can actually head into where he was hanging out. We do have an ogre here as well. Hmm. Did we wake him out? Did we wake him up with that shout earlier? I hope not. That would be pretty unfortunate. So yeah, another killer bee. As long as they come one at a time, uh, we should be okay. Twenty-two evasion, and we do have slouch. We do have Slouch, that's worth uh, remembering now. We have probably our best um, panic button that we're going to get. Let's bring that up to seven. At 19% fail, we can stop focusing invocations, I guess. Hmm. Not sure, actually. I'm also going to want a little bit of armor, but we can hold off on that for, for now. All right, let's see if we can find the lair entrance here. Nope, it's not in here. And we can unexclude this, I guess. What's the point of that? Looks like the ogre is awake as well. Uh, I guess it was that earlier ogre just shouting. Could it be in here? Could there be a lair entrance in here? Hmm. Am I really going to try and find out? I guess so. Uh, I don't want to shout. I'm just going to hang out for a bit. We might need to eat, but that's fine. Alright, these bees are not hurting us too badly. That's very good. Um, okay. Here's another bee. Looks like they all woke up and split up and so on. We can safely shout from this corridor. Wait for a bit. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. I guess uh, I guess we're fine. I guess we got all the bees. All right. Just unexclude this whole thing. Where's the other one? Here it is. Okay. And there's our book, which I would like to know. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we're fine. Uh, 23 evasion now, doing good work for us. Okay, we got a book of summonings. Now, we're quite bad at summonings. If we go to all skills, minus two. But our int is pretty decent. We could go ahead and at least get summon butterflies. 24% hmm. fail with no training. Yeah, I think that's worth going for. Do I want the other stuff? We'll see. But we can go ahead and get summon butterflies, I guess. Is that worth it? Probably. Alright, let's learn it. And we can get one level of summonings and spellcasting, I guess. That might help a little bit. I don't really want to be going hard on summonings, but... Well, it's our only spellbook, so... Yeah. 
no damage from the uh, sling bullet. How much damage do you do? Excuse me. Up to 20 damage, and it berserks uh, friendly bees. I could try and use the poison needles. I think that I will. We also have curare. That might be an option against Gastronok. Anyway, I'm going to try to poison this bee even sicker. Now it's as sick as possible. Okay. I could use the short sword of freezing as well. Does that slow it? Apparently not, but uh, it seems the poison did could work for us, so yeah. Oh, here's another bee. Got him. Yeah, I'm quite worried about Gastronok, but we have Curare. We, we must have picked that up recently. I don't think we had them at the start of this episode. And Curare might be good enough to fight Gastronok with. Anyway, we've, we've actually cleared out this whole level here, so we don't have a lair entrance. That means it's either upstairs... It's either upstairs in here, in this excluded area with the bees, or it's uh, on D11, which is very late. Hmm. So I want to try and find a lair entrance here. Oh, well, we can fight bees now, right? Let's go ahead and eat, and let's test out this ring. Plus four decks. Hey, even more decks. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, we can fight these bees, I guess. We want to fight them one at a time, though. Um, if possible. Okay, we got him. Very good. We can go ahead and unexclude this area as well. And this, all right. Not a problem. So I don't think they can be on D6. They definitely can't be the lair entrance, I mean. I don't think it can be on D5. So, yeah, we've cleared D8 pretty much. And it's not here. Hmm. It's not here. What is... What is this little... Oh, this is like the one unknown tile in the whole map. I was wondering what it was on the mini-map. Anyway, so it's not here. It must be on D11 then. So I guess we're going to D11. Somehow I thought Gastronok meant that the uh, lair entrance would be there, but apparently not. Or no, wait, we haven't cleared D10 either. What am I saying? It's on D10 probably. Or D11. Alright. Kobolds, that's fine. And I left because we ran into the ugly thing, that's right. Okay, here we have some yaks. These are another um, sign of a possible lair entrance. Can we fight yaks, though? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess our evasion is good enough. It's only uh, closely and barely missing us, but it is missing us. 18 damage. Hmm. Looks like we can fight yaks well enough. Okay, I probably shouldn't auto-explore though, because um, that one ugly thing almost wrecked us earlier. Yeah, I'm losing track of my uh, levels. I was like, oh, we went down to D10. No, we didn't clear D10, and the lair entrance is probably here. And we probably have an unseen horror here, and that's really bad. Uh, we don't like that. Hmm. How do we deal with an unseen horror when we don't have seen visible? I'm not sure. We could just go up the stairs, but we don't really have anywhere to go. Like, if we just head upstairs, where are we going? We don't have anywhere to go. Uh, hmm. We don't have a wand of clouds. Do we just have to fight it here? Oh, we can slouch, actually. Uh, so slouch will kill it. Almost certainly. Slouch will kill an Unseen Horror, because they're very fast. We can kill this Centaur Zombie. And we can try to kill the Unseen Horror, although it's probably not going to work. If I start taking damage, like one more hit, I'm going to slouch here. Alright. 
let's slouch. There we go. Uh, you feel a bit more experienced. Uh, we lost some piety, but we do still have slouch. That's good. Okay, we need to rest here. Let's head towards the stairs. Oh, vampire mosquito. I guess that's okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. So let's keep on going here. Uh, it's a little bit inefficient to use slouch on one enemy, but unseen horrors without seeing visible, when you can't, uh, when you don't have anywhere else to go, they're quite a problem. I could have tried to park it upstairs, actually. I guess that's a possibility. I could have tried to draw it up some stairs and then wait until it wasn't next to me and just head back down. So maybe that was an option, but you know, one slouch, it's a reusable, it's a reusable ability really. Um, not that big a deal. Plus we get experience, which we do very much need. Okay, I, I don't like this positioning. Let's try to, let's try to explore around the stairs here. Let's explore over this way. Okay, let's check our skills. We're up to 10 dodging already. Slouch is at 10% fail. Hmm. I might want like eight invocations. We can get invocations up to eight, I guess. And we can get like seven stealth at this point. And I think I'm also going to start training armor up to four. Now that's a lot of stuff to train, but oh well. We will want all of this stuff for sure. Do we have any slings? Any better slings? No. Okay. All right. I'd also like to find some sling bullets. That would be pretty nice. The game has not been generous. Okay, closet. That's fine. All right. I guess I... Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to fight that thing. Oh, hey, a cloak. Nice. Another armor for us. Very good. And I guess I'm just auto-exploring here, all right. So that's D10 done. I guess my uh, original statement was right, and we're going to have to go down to D11 for the layer entrance. That's not what you want. It's not really what you want. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. So I guess we're heading down. We still only have one identify scroll, so there's not much we can do uh, in terms of identifying stuff. This Howler Monkey. Oh, I hate this. It's going to make a bunch of noise, isn't it? No, I guess we're fine. All right. Killer B. Two killer Bs. If we... Mm, we might want to pull these guys up. Yeah. Okay, let's kill the B first. Then the frog. I'm quite surprised we didn't see a lair entrance after running into random yaks in the dungeon, but... Oh, well. So, yeah, just the one B here. More stuff didn't come. That's good. Well, here's more stuff. All right. What hit level one? Armor. Okay, yeah. And slouch is at 9%. Am I really going to keep getting invocations? Yeah, let's actually turn that off. I think, uh, I think seven is enough for now. And we have other priorities. Like dodging. All right. And fighting, for that matter. Fighting is always a pretty... A good use of your XP if it's not your highest cost skill already. Mm. Up to 32 decks as well. So dodging is going to continue being very valuable for us. All right, we're fine here. Probably don't want to auto explore. Probably want to be a little bit more careful here. Okay, here's a hand crossbow. This is good. Um, I do want to go into crossbows eventually. A hand crossbow isn't quite good enough unless it's really heavily enchanted. So I'm not going to be training that yet, but this does mean we can start training it at any point. Um, okay, there's a Hydra. Uh, what am I doing about a Hydra? Probably Wand of Acid. Probably Wand of Acid. We also have Lignification. 
if it gets next to us we can lignification and this is really bad positioning because we can't run away easily I'm gonna try to okay it's noticed us never mind let's get the acid off it's splashed with acid hmm. is it corroded I think we'd get the icon if it was corroded let's acid again or maybe we don't never mind okay shoot the Hydra with the sling bullets shoot the Hydra excuse me uh, do we need to do something here hmm. 27 evasion I think we're okay probably if we just die well we didn't okay now we're just dying um, hmm. do I lignification here will that work okay let's do it we're still sort of dying okay it's dead uh, I should have used the lignification immediately clearly uh, or more acid or something that was really bad okay uh, we're, we're fine though and I also accidentally shot at the hound just pressing tab I think I think I did that so that was pretty bad too uh, the good news is we found more sling bullets and we found the lair entrance as well so here's an oak log plant we can take this out I think maybe all right we got it okay um, I think I just want to head into the lair I don't want to explore on d11 here we go I am quite worried about hydras of course uh, that was an eight-headed hydra which is uh, okay here's another hydra this one's six-headed and it's quite it's basically right next to us we do have teleportation hmm uh, let's use our other lignification okay we got it uh, yeah I handled that first fight poorly somehow I thought 27 evasion now 28 would have been enough but apparently not quite these spiny frogs are also extremely dangerous without poison resistance at least so are blink frogs if you get surrounded but I guess we're fine all right yeah I guess we're doing okay a black mamba also extremely dangerous can we kill it we could use slouch here if this goes badly no we got it all right slouch is pretty effective against those because they're fast and blink frogs I guess yeah yaks uh, a little bit less so more int three yaks I guess we're fine all right very good and some blink frog ooh that's a hydra okay uh, let's acid it switch to the sling bullets and try to shoot it there we go okay um, I could have considered teleporting but I don't know I don't know we we got some experience for it hydras are worth good XP water moccasins don't deserve sling bullets the black mambas are the dangerous ones unless they're in a group then they're dangerous anything in a group can be potentially dangerous if it's a big enough group except maybe kobolds or uh, goblins or whatever rats a big group of rats is still not a big problem okay so I'm playing a bit uh, too fast apparently if I'm shooting at other stuff while a Hydra is on screen but well we were okay we are out of lignification now though and that's pretty concerning all right slouch is not good single target damage it's a um, ability you want to use against the large groups here uh, we have some gold I guess I'll chop through this plant to get it okay and a spiny frog as well let's go back to the sling uh, go to the sling bullets okay got it very good and we are done with layer one okay we need to eat as well done exploring okay so I guess we're heading down uh, let's
let's take a stairwell. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, worth noting is that we do have curare. We also have a um, ice level here, ice cave. Okay, here's another hydra. We're running a bit low on the acid as well. Hmm. I could try and enslavement the spiny frog and then head back to the stairs. Okay, we got it. That's good. Please kill the hydra for me. That just dies. All right, let's acid. See, there's the corrosion indicator. That's what I wanted to see. Anyway, we shoot, we shoot. Uh, maybe I should have teleported here. Um, it didn't work as well as I was hoping. Hmm. Maybe I need to test out this potion. Uh, do we acid again? I wish I had a blink scroll. How do I deal with this? Well, we have 31 evasion. Maybe we're just fine now at 31 evasion. Uh, still getting dodging. Do I want to stop at 14? Maybe I don't. Hmm. We, do, we are at the point of diminishing returns for evasion, but it's still quite good for us. Uh, we do have bend time and temporal distortion. We also have step from time, but that has a fairly high failure rate. That might be, this might be the call if we had it at a uh, lower failure rate. I could also just slouch it and hope that kills it. No, it would take multiple slouches for sure. Hmm. Okay, I guess we just try and fight it then. Okay, uh, is it hitting us? Well, we got bitten three times. Okay, it's missing us. No, we're taking some damage here. Why can't we hit this thing? All right, there we go. And we're out of acid wand charges. Yep, yeah, um, we do have more polymorph, which is not what I want. I don't really care about polymorph. I might just drop it, in fact. Even um, in a tough run where I want to be careful like this, uh, it's just, it's so bad. Like you could change something into something that is random and possibly more dangerous, and that has to overcome magic resistance. So you could be um, paralyzing it instead, right? If you had a wand of paralysis, what's better? Changing it into something else but equally dangerous or paralyzing it? I'd say paralyzing it is probably better. Uh, we could get more stealth, like even more stealth, get it up to 8. That seems reasonable at this point. Maybe even more than that. Get more invocations for step from time. Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. I could start going for crossbows as well. We're down to mostly using stones. This hand crossbow has... Um, 12 base damage. Yeah. This will be much better against anything with armor. It has no enchantment though, and no brand. But only requires 10 skill levels for Mindelay. So I think I do want to start potentially training that. I'm going to get up to 14 dodging, I guess. Maybe more? Hmm. Yeah, let's get up to 14 dodging and like. 10 fighting, and then we can go for crossbows, I guess. Maybe more invocations as well. We'll see. 31 uh, dodging is quite a bit for this point in the game. Here's a steam dragon. Please give me armor. Ooh, yes! Excellent! Lucky us, we got the steam dragon scales. Uh, if we had a heavily enchanted ring mail, we could go for that, but uh, I mean, this isn't that good because our strength is high. So the encumbrance doesn't matter that much, and it's still the same base armor. But if we put this on, yeah, we're up to 33 evasion now. Is strictly better than ring mail. All right. So 33 evasion. Not bad. Here's a Nega. These are quite dangerous when you can't run away. Uh, let's head over this way. Clear out this area first. 
maybe. Hmm. There's a yak, multiple yaks. I think we're fine, right? Yeah, we're okay. Just shoot stones at them, and they can't hit us at all. 33 evasion. Um, if we were a caster and we had low strength, then the steam dragon scales would be really, really important, but, well, potentially, but um, as it is, it doesn't matter too much. Here's the Nega. Maybe I went in the wrong direction. Oh, well. Let's go back around this way. We can fight this guy, I guess. He shouts. Oh, he's hitting us. All right. Uh, we can't use Slouch against Negas, of course, because they're slow. Well, I mean, we can, actually, but um, it won't be very effective. Here's a Sling. Was that enchanted? No. Okay, here's a Spiny Frog. We start at max range. One of the benefits of Stealth, you can just back off to max range before fighting anything. That's why I'm getting even more. All right. Four armor. Hmm. Okay, here's the ice cave entrance, and it's almost certainly, yeah, it's collapsed. We don't have much chance of uh, making it into these uh, time-gated levels as a uh, Che follower. We're just too slow. But we don't have cold resistance anyway, so I don't really care that much. These ice beasts don't seem to be able to do anything to us. All right, easy. Another problem is without cold resistance, these things usually have uh, ice clouds. And you, if you walk really slowly and you don't have cold resistance and you walk into an ice cloud, you could just die. So it would be, it would be potentially pretty dangerous. More blink frogs, well, just the one. Okay, and we're done with layer two then. All right, very good. Um, so I could head into layer three, but I think I'm gonna end things here today. We're approaching 40 minutes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.